CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle is live from the Birmingham school headquarters tonight. How is this mistake, Stefan, affecting local schools? Jim, honestly, right now, Birmingham City Schools aren't sure how much this error affects their graduation rate numbers. As you may know, they are in the thick of selecting a new school superintendent. So this kind of news kind of caught them off guard. Now, officials say a, nu a number of mistakes were made, both in data manipulation and basic protocol. There were numerous courses that contained similar course names or codes, but were not, in fact, the special education courses deemed unacceptable by the U.S. Department of Education. Now, this was Results in numerous courses being taken out that were valid and acceptable. And in some instances, uh, students with well above the necessary course requirements were counted as non graduates. In turn, graduation rates dropped in various systems across the state. Now, State Superintendent of Education Michael Sentence released this statement saying, in part, we owe it to not only the educators, but the community at large to make sure our data is solid and reliable. At a minimum, we should have given local systems the Basic consideration of vetting the data we are making where we are making public on their behalf. Now, the State Board of Education is conducting an immediate investigation. They tell us that online poll, that online portal that hosted those uh, graduation rate numbers have been taken down until it is corrected. We're live in Birmingham tonight. Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.